Okay, listen. Cannabis is just the tip of the iceberg, people. Okay? It's part of the great hoodwink of what they've done. Okay? Stoners domesticated the horse, invented the wheel. Stoners created blues, jazz, rock and roll out of Congo Square. Stoners created hip-hop. Stoners created the personal computer. Okay? Stoners created the first secular music. All right? Stoners own magic and religion. But we've been taken away from that history. Okay? All religions came from cannabis. And somehow, they've disappeared the fact that the burning bush, which gave Moses the inspiration, was cannabis. What else would it be? Soma of the Rig Veda, the oldest living religious document, the foundation of Hinduism and Buddhism is cannabis. Ma is cannabis in Chinese. And that's where we get magi, magic, shaman. Okay, so we rule magic, the cannabis people of the universe. Okay, so let's take back the magic, man. All right, so I got my own little project now. It's called the Pot Illuminati. We're stealing the magic of the evil Illuminati and we're bending it to our will. And we just established a, a chapter here in Portland. These candles will be used by the Portland chapter of the Pot Illuminati. This is part of the sophisticated magic that we've manifested in the 20 years I ran the Cannabis Cup. So we're bringing the crew that did the ceremonies at the Cannabis Cup and we're coming here next year and we're bringing the founding fathers of the Pot Illuminati, Grandmaster Kaz and Chief Rocker Busy Bee. Okay, these figures are so important because they created the culture and got no big money out of it. So they're very magical creatures. I was the first journalist to go to the South Bronx and interview all of the founding fathers of hip hop. I got a book here. The Complete History of the First Generation. Is anybody into hip-hop? Anybody like a copy of this book? Okay. Did you know Abraham Lincoln was killed by his own party because he was going to bring the Southern congressmen back into Congress? The radical Republicans were about to lose control of Congress. So, through their double agents, they sent a Confederate spy, John Wilkes Booth, to kill and they left the president unprotected. But they had to kill John Wilkes Booth. They couldn't let him be taken, just like they couldn't let Oswald be taken. Anybody want to know the real history, what really happened in the Civil War? Take that. All right. This is my adventure through magic. I started, I came through experimental theater, living theater. I studied with uh, Julian Beck, Judith Molina, uh, Jasper Grootfeld, the provost in Amsterdam. I, I, I rode the, with the Merry Pranksters. I began my career as a counterculture shaman in magic in 1967 and have continued and created the Cannabis Cup and have done things on a massive scale. And this is the story of what I learned in that process. Anybody want a copy of this book? Okay. Do you want to know what the real story is? Who runs the banks? What's the real story behind the Wizard of Oz? What are these secret societies? What is the Illuminati? The Illuminati is just a chapter of Freemasonry. Freemasonry is the shadow that they created to a, uh, on the other side of fundamentalist religion. So it's just like Christianity, only it's you know the same thing, only it's a different kind of a hoodwink, okay? They aren't telling you the truth about magic and religion. They're hoodwinking you. So if you want to know the real story, what's going on with secret societies, who killed JFK, what does the Wizard of Oz really mean, what is the Golden Road? Anybody interested in this book? Okay. This is, I only have one fiction collection. It's all about growing up in the late 60s and what we went through. And I like to give it to this guy because he shared that book with that bro. So thank you, brother. All right, listen. The Pot Illuminati only has one rule. We believe in no dogmas. 
We invite all cultures. We want the most uh, beautiful rainbow spectrum of people, uh, sexualities, uh, everything, you know. We want it all to be a part of our ceremony. So we invite everybody. That's why there's seven candles of the rainbow. That's why there's seven different magic sigils on the candles. So, so we encourage you, but there's one rule. Don't hurt anybody. As long as you don't hurt anybody, you can do whatever you want in our culture, okay? And we respect all the religions, all the pagan religions, all the Freemasonry. We'll use their ceremonies and rituals because all these rituals of our ancestors resonate with us. They're important. Let's hang on to the rituals and ditch the dogma, okay? So we'll see you next year with the Pot Illuminati, and we'll be rocking this thing with 40,000 people on this hill, okay? Because we're going to bring magic and ceremony to Hempstock. Thank you. See you next year.